Hopefully all the ads you are running in Google Ads have an eligible status. This means that they are okay to run. But you may find out eventually that certain ads are limited or partially showing or disapproved completely, not showing at all. Well, in this video, we want to cover the ad status types within Google Ads. So if you ever run into an issue where your ads are partially showing or not showing at all, you would know exactly where to go and how to fix it so you can get back to eligible status. For this demo, I'm going to have to jump around into several accounts because I don't have one account in my MCC that will cover all of the ad statuses. A couple things, I do have my campaigns filtered by just search campaigns and I'm already in the ads portion under ads and assets. Now, while I can't 100% confirm, in every account I have pulled up, the status column when you're in the ads view is a locked column. That means it should automatically be there. So to start, I'm gonna tackle the easy ones. And the first one in this account example is eligible. This is the goal we're trying to reach, to have every ad that we want running to be eligible. This means that the ad, whenever submitted, has been reviewed and is able to run. It follows all of the Google Ads policies, there aren't any issues, and it can be shown to everyone that you are targeting. Now, if I don't want to run this ad anymore, I can go over to the green button, click on to edit the status, and I could choose to pause the ad. I'm not gonna do that in this account because the ad is performing pretty well. When you pause your ads, you manually get to control when you want your ad to stop running. You're not violating any rules, but for whatever reason, you don't want anyone to see it. Whether it's a seasonality reason, a limited run campaign, maybe the ad is underperforming, could be a variety of reasons, but you're controlling when you want the ad to stop. Moving down a little bit, when we get to remove status, you are almost deleting the ad. It will stop running, and once you remove it, you cannot bring it back. Now, even though you cannot bring the ad back, you can still review the numbers of past performance for each removed ad. Now, these are essentially the main options that we can control. Let's start going over some of the reasons why your ad may not be running or may only be partially running. Now, in this account, we can see a couple of ads are eligible but limited. Google states that this status is for ads that do comply with the policies but the reason that they're limited is depending on where and when they could show. And pretty much almost all the time, it's due to certain Google Ads policies, whether it's trademark issues, copyright issues, or some of the limited industries like alcohol and healthcare. In this case, this account is related to healthcare. So certain policies are limited in certain regions, certain ages, or potentially certain devices. Google also states under this ad status, that ads will not show on mobile devices if Google feels that the destination is underperforming. So we see within each of these statuses that are eligible but limited, a one line summary about why the ad is marked for an eligible limited status. It's easy enough for to understand why, you can just hover your mouse over the status to get a reason why. Now in this case, we did appeal because originally these ads were entirely disapproved, but there's still some content on our landing pages that will prevent our ad showing in certain regions. So we have a few options. You can see we can try to appeal it again to try to get the ads to full eligible status, or we can look at editing the ads, or in this case, we need to edit our landing pages. At least these ads are running a little bit. And since we're targeting the entire US, we're still getting a lot of impressions. We just understand we'll never be able to get 100% of the audience we wanna hit in the United States until we work on updating the policies that we're violating. And in some cases, depending on what the content is, we just may never be able to reach full eligible status. It really depends on the nature of the account, the keywords that we're going after, and the content that we may need to have legally on our landing pages. But what are some reasons why your ads may not be showing at all? You are getting zero impressions. There are definitely a couple reasons why. So let me hop into a different account. One of the statuses that is a reason why your ads are not running is because it could be not eligible. And usually the solution for this of why it's not eligible is pretty easy to figure out. The best example is this first one right here. The ad is not eligible because the campaign is paused. If you look at the ad status, I still have it running. But of course it can't run if the campaign is paused. The same thing would happen if the ad group was paused. But if we look at the ad group status filter I have, the ad group is also enabled. So if I want this ad running again, I just have to enable the campaign. You may see that an ad is not eligible because you removed the ad. And another reason your ad might not be eligible is if you put a specific end date to the run of your campaign. If you're past the end date, well, it's obvious that your ad cannot run. So it's not going to be eligible. You would either have to extend the end date or make it an evergreen ongoing campaign. 
So the other ad status of why your ads cannot run is probably the main reason if you ever run into this issue is that your ad is disapproved. And there are a lot of reasons why your ads could be disapproved. Looking at the ad below, it's just one example. And it's actually covering both of the statuses why the ad can't run. We see the red bar up top. I'm in an old account, everything is paused. So everything is not gonna be eligible. At the same time, if anything comes back, our final URL is not working. Google will not let you send users to a page that is broken. But pretty much a disapproved ad status occurs because the content within the text of your ad message or on the content of your landing page violates some sort of Google Ads policy. And there are a lot of Google Ads policies. I do cover a bunch of them in this video about Google's three strike policy. You can check that here. But for now, I'm going to go to a page about Google Ads policies so we can just skim some of the examples of why your ads could be disapproved. And here are some of the policies. If you're trying to promote counterfeit goods, promoting dangerous products or services like weapons, if you are pushing for dishonest behavior, they give you an example of fake documents, cheating services, inappropriate content. Some examples they give are cruelty to animals, self-harm, extortion, blackmail, violations of abusing the ad network. Sometimes that could be trying to fool users to think that they're going to one landing page, but you're sending them to another one. Improper data collection. They go over misrepresentation, and then there's restricted content and features, any sexual content. We already talked about alcohol, if you're violating any copyright or trademark issues, gambling and games. We run into a lot of issues with our healthcare clients, political content, financial services, there's trademarks again, legal requirements. Some are restricted ad formats and features, content for kids, editorial issues. This is a big common one we see in a lot of accounts. So I'll stop here a little bit. I'm gonna highlight this section here. Overly generic phrases. Punctuation is a big reason why we see ads get disapproved, but I will admit Google's getting a lot better of detecting these before you even save the ad, but sometimes certain variations get passed through. This could be excessive punctuation, like using the exclamation point too much, trying to get away with certain symbols to make your ad stand out. We talked about destination requirements, like the previous account we showed you, the destination or final URL isn't working anymore, and then there's a few more, but we're pretty much at the bottom. I'm gonna put a link to this advertising policies page within the video description. So if you feel like your account falls within one of these policies, could be a reason why your ads may be getting disapproved. If I head back up into one of the accounts, coming back to this account that is fully paused, but did have some disapproved ads, I wanna show you that there are a few additional columns that you can add that go a little bit deeper into the policy reasons. So let's first go to columns and then let's modify the columns. Go to the magnifying glass and then just type in policy. You can add policy details. I'm gonna go and just move this one up to the top and then apply it. And here we get more information about the exact policy detail about why the ad is disapproved. I'm actually proud of myself that I really couldn't find any other examples of this. So that means Michelle and I are checking up on our client accounts. So I had to pop into an old account that hasn't been touched in a while to try to find some of these. But save this column to your ad view. So if you ever run into any of those issues, you have a better understanding. You can see there is a link within the policy details. If you click on it, it'll pull information of the exact reason why your ad is disapproved. And then if you want to, you can choose to appeal the decision. You can also go back to what we showed before, highlight over the status and choose to fix it. And fixing or editing any ads will bring you to the final ad status. And since I don't wanna change anyone's ads right now, I'm gonna hop into the Pay Media Pros demo account. Let's pretend one of these is under violation. I need to fix something. I'm gonna go in and edit the ad. Let's say I had a typo in my final URL. So it was sending users to a 404 page. I'm gonna paste in the proper URL, go back down and save my ad, essentially correcting the policy violation, and ignore the not eligible, because yes, the ad group is paused. The final one will be under review. This is the final reason why your ad could not be running. If you've recently made changes, you have to wait until Google reviews it before it could come back. And that's assuming that the changes you made to the ad clear up all policy violations. So you just have to play a little bit of a waiting game, but it shouldn't take long. I know that was a quick run through of ad statuses, but between the status column, as well as the policy reason column, we get a pretty clear direction of why your ads may not be running. 
Again, make note of the ad policy URL that we have within the video description. That'll go a little bit deeper into why your ads may not be running. And hopefully you at least have the direction you need to get any of your disapproved ads back into eligible status. If you have any further questions on why your ads may not be running, and if the resources didn't help, please let us know in the comments below and hopefully we can direct you to the right page. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button. 